Welcome back to the channel, everybody. So, today's video, uh, I have a box here with a rock in it. I haven't looked at it yet, but a viewer, Karen, she wants to see if I can identify this. Um, I already know a little bit about it. She, uh, she said that she posted photos of this on, I believe she said she posted it on Facebook. And, well, here, let's go in this way. Hmm. Very crumbly in this jar. It's very orange. Let's, uh, you have to do some closer examination here of this. Well, I believe my initial gut gut instinct seeing this right now is that that is cinnabar. But let's not go with uh, just our gut impression here. Let's uh, get a little more in depth. Um, I think this is a good piece to examine. Um, let's move this out of the way. So let's talk a little bit about what cinnabar is if this is actually cinnabar cinnabar is well it's it's basically mercury it's like 85 percent mercury by weight um you know it it's a sulfide right so it's you know a hydrothermal mineral and it precipitates in like hot waters and vapors and stuff so you might um only get like a hmm you might just get like a, a coating on other rocks which I believe that's what this is. So you can maybe imagine if this was on the, on like a, I don't know, the inside of a cavern or, or something, and that hot mercury precipitate just kind of deposited on here. So we know a couple of things. Um, it looks like there's some crystals there. The crystal structure of cinnabar, it's, um, what do you call it? Um, uh, a rhomb rhombohed rhombohedral? It's like a cube that's like like that. That's a, a dead giveaway. We got that red in there. Um, what's a, you know, the, the luster can be kind of dull, earthy, the, a more glossy kind of finish on it. I got the loop here. Let's give this a look. And I'm going to put some photos in here and you can look at it with me. So I can certainly see that structure in it. Um, you can see that shape of the crystal. Um, so that's a positive sign, in my opinion, for it. <clears throat> Color's red. I can't really do a gravity test on it because it's so small, but the gravity is pretty high. It's like an 8-ish, 8.1, I believe. I don't know. I, I, I should have done more research. Um, it's like 8.1. Hardness, it's really soft. It's like a 2, 2.5. Uh, so... There's that. I can't really do the traditional testing. Let's look at some of these additional pieces here. It can be difficult, okay? You know, we've we've done some identifying here on the channel that is, more, I would say, more on the easy side. There'll be photos in here as well. Um, more on the easy side, um, these kind of more difficult things um, as well. It's, it's not easy, right? Um, there's also a uh, medicine bar, which is going to be gray. And that can be another confusing one for people. Um, oh, look at that little pocket right there of crystals. I think that one would be good for photos. I'm leaning towards cinnabar. Um, just the, the state of it, you know, um, certainly has the, the appearance that kind of, rusty dusty texture on the ore um obviously you don't want to like you know take there's some crystals in there you want to take precautions with this type of stuff you know glove up uh oftentimes when we joke around we're like oh yeah don't lick rocks right like uh i got you know people 
you know, we joke around. I'm like, oh, yeah, I got some Cinnabar for you to lick. I'm talking about this. This is what that is. Um, so indications, I'm going to say that this is, in fact, Cinnabar based upon the visual inspection, the crystals, uh, the fact that we kind of got that earthy to like that adamantium uh, luster to it. It's got the right color. The, cr the crystals have the right color. Um, you know, I, I can't really confirm the gravity or the hardness, but that's that's that. Um, and then, uh, you know, it has the appearance of being a deposit on on a on another rock. I don't know what the host host rock is. So um, that's uh, my take on this. It is definitely cinnabar. And uh, enjoy the slideshow, everybody. I hope uh, maybe you learned a couple of things about um, rock identification here. And we got to look at some cool toxic toxic, toxic rocks, um, add it to the collection. I don't think I, well, I shouldn't speak too soon. Uh, she might want me to send this back. But, uh, you know, thank you, Karen, for sending me this. Um, hopefully uh, you found this to be helpful. And maybe uh, if you, you're watching out there in YouTube land, you found this to be helpful as well. Take care, everybody.